The Man with New test is a non-parametric version of the t-test, one might say, or actually the unpaired t-test. But if you try to find Man with New test in R, you'll find that there is no such test, at least not in the base package. But instead, you would have to use the Wilcox test. On the other hand, these tests are virtually identical and interchangeable. The Wilcox sign rank test was developed by Frank Wilcox on the man on the motorbike here in 1945. And two years later, Henry Mann and Don Ransom Whitney presented a very similar test called the Man Whitney U test, which actually did not add anything to the already existing Wilcoxon test, but was more restricted since it could only deal with unpaired data, while the Wilcoxon test accepts both paired and unpaired data. If you're going to perform a man with new test or an unpaired Wilcoxon test, you simply write Wilcox test and then the column of data set containing the outcome data till the, the column containing the group data, just as for the t-test. And the result, as you can see here, looks sort of like the t-test output. You get a p-value here, 0. 0.0005, which is slightly higher than the one you received in the t-test using the same data. And that is often the case that you get somewhat less significant results using a non parametric test, but it's, it's not, not always the case, and it depends on the distribution of the data. An alternative way of writing it is, just as for the t-test, to provide the data for group one, here using subsetting and selecting the individuals who are extensive metabolizers, comma, the data for the other group, in this case, individuals with PM genotype, and it gives the same results. Of course, there are also a few extra arguments to the Wilcox test command. The first one is pad, letting you make a pad test as well, but as default, it's an unpaired test because pad is false. The second argument here is exact and it might seem a bit odd because supposedly the non parametric test should be exact but in reality if you have ties that is equal values in both groups or if you have 50 observations or more r uses a normal approximation method and if you really want an exact value then you would have to set the um, exact to true. You don't get the confidence interval as default, and if you want a confidence interval, then you would have to set conf int to true instead. And then you may provide the confidence level, but as a default, it's 0.95. You can also use the Wilcox test to get a non parametric confidence interval of a point estimate that is a one group value without comparing two groups. And you do just as for the t test, you perform a Wilcox test and then only provide values for one group. And in this case, we set conf int to true to get the confidence interval. Here we also store the results in w and ask for w p value and get the p value which is rather low as you can see and this p-value refers to the zero hypothesis that the median dose is equal to zero that's the zero hypothesis in this case so you don't compare any groups you just compare the median value to zero and in this case it's significantly different from zero if you ask for the confidence interval you get an interval ranging from 11.7 to 34.9 and the estimate is 24.16. And as you can see, it's not a mean value or an average value, it's a median or actually a pseudo median. And this is sort of logical because you commonly use non parametric tests when D 
the distribution is non-normal and possibly asymmetric. And in that case, the um, arithmetic mean would not be very meaningful and it's more reasonable to provide the median.